day, Sir Blasphemy here for Sir Blasphemy's Travels. I'm off on another adventure. This time I'm going from Arizona to Los Angeles, California to the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair. I'm going there to set up my tent and uh, maybe I can show you guys around when I get there. I don't know yet. So right now I'm actually in Los Angeles. Technically I'm in West Covina right now and I don't have my little stick because it keeps breaking so I'm kind of holding the GoPro with my hand but uh, anyway so I'll show you around the hotel room and all that good stuff look at that of course I gotta have my uh, cold drinks there you know take you on a little journey here um, this is what the room looks like but we're gonna walk down um, I'm gonna grab a cold one and of course if you know me I'm having myself a cigar right now so I'm gonna grab a cold one and we're gonna walk downstairs and uh, I'm going to show you around where I'm at and uh, give you a little information on the current rates and things like that in uh, Southern California, namely the Los Angeles area. But then tomorrow morning, I've got to go set up my tent at the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair. That fair has been running for over 60 years and it is the very first Renaissance Fair in the country. So that takes place in about two weeks. They have opening weekend. So I'm just here two weeks before to get everything set up. Hopefully I can show you everything tomorrow and maybe take you for a behind the scenes look like I always do. So anyway, I've already, you know, I know this is the intro video. I've already done the traveling. So you're about to see some traveling videos and, uh, you know, on the way here, some sites and stuff like that. So go ahead and enjoy that. And then coming up next, uh, you should see me in the morning heading to uh, the Renaissance Pleasure Fair and hopefully I can take you guys on a drive around. But anyway, let's walk outside. Let's go check things out. Come on. Here we go. All right. I can't ever remember where the elevator's at. All right, so we're gonna go down this way.
cool. There's a Matzner tank pavilion. I don't know if I can show you. You can't walk up to it. Um, I guess you could like right there, but just wanted to kind of show you guys that for a minute. Let you check that out. The stuff you see on the road there. Some tanks and stuff. It's kind of cool. All right. There you go. A little break from the road stuff. I would have liked to have got closer to those, but you can only get so close for some reason. I don't know why. All right, cool. On we go. Somebody, of course, got in the elevator with me the first time, naturally, because I have this. But let's walk out here, check it out. So let me pull my mask down, maybe you can hear me a little better. Yeah, so I'm just kind of chilling on the corner here. Take a look around, we got the Interstate 10 is that way. And then this is kind of where I'm at. And right there's the Interstate 10 too as well. It's a little off-ramp kind of thing that goes right there. So let me get my cigar here. Oh. So anyway, 
so let me tell you about the current gas prices so in Arizona anywhere from 414 to 459 a gallon if you can fill up if you're coming to California or whatever and if, if you're able to squeak out on a on a full tank of gas fill up before you get it get here I'm, I'm sure you guys know that so that was uh, I just re I just paid just a little bit ago I paid uh, 619 a gallon yeah 619 a gallon now to be fair that's not the average price that was a little bit high because then as I drove around it ranged from like 559 to like 577 so I kind of screwed up and and kind of did the no-no and pulled right off and got some gas you know at the first convenient um, gas station but I will tell you this though as far as the food prices go I just went out to eat I had some brisket quesadillas I had two beers brisket quesadillas a big big portion with pico all of that stuff it only cost me $24 so don't be afraid other than maybe the gas prices and stuff like that coming out here as far as doing stuff it isn't much different than really anywhere else as far as the prices go you might pay 25 cents or 50 cents maybe a dollar more but um the meal was 24 dollars, and i had a huge meal and two beers and uh it didn't break the bank by any means so yeah i mean just the gas is ridiculous of course if you're buying homes here you know we all know the housing market here is astronomical but um yeah man i mean other than that it's a smooth drive I love taking this drive. It's in it's in one of my favorite cities on the planet, Los Angeles, California, in my favorite state. I love California. So yeah, let me just show you around again. I mean, take a look. I mean, you know, I'm just kind of standing here hanging out on the corner. So it's no big deal, but sorry, I kind of dipped and dunked on you there for a minute. But yeah, once again, just kind of show you the sights and stuff, but there we go. And I'm not going to really, you know, walk around in the parking lot or anything like that. But I just wanted to show you around. Give you something different than normally, like on the other trips, I just kind of do the hotel room. But I'm out here having a cigar, having a cold beer. I'm going to enjoy this for a few minutes. I'm going to go in, get some sleep. And then in the morning, you're going to see me heading to the Renaissance Pleasure Fair. And hopefully, I can do a walk around vid for you guys. Hopefully, we can check that out. But first, I've got to get my tent up. So, hey, CBD, CB Dragon Sweet Shop is in effect. You guys... If you see this and you're in the LA area, come visit me out at the Renaissance Pleasure Fair. Beast or Blasphemy, CB Dragon Sweet Shop. Come buy some chocolate, come buy some CBD infused Belgian chocolate. I'll be glad to have you there. So please come by and visit me if you happen to see this video. So, all right, let's roll to the morning. Let's see what we got to do next. All right, guys. Here we all go. right, good morning, guys. How you guys doing out there? So, uh, still in the hotel, as you can see, to give you a look around. Sorry, here. Don't have, again, don't have my little selfie stick thing for the GoPro. But uh, yeah, you see the pool area out there, all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, so about to head out to the fairgrounds and gonna put up the tent so maybe I can show you some of the stuff and hopefully give you a little walk around the fairgrounds. If not, I'll definitely get you one when I do it opening weekend. It just depends on how long it takes me there and if everybody's kind of busy doing things I don't want to get in people's way so all right so I'm about to head there I'm gonna have a little breakfast first here and then I'm going to head there and you guys are gonna check it out and now we're gonna get a little bit behind the scenes of the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair let's get going come on Sir Blasphemy's taking you there let's go all right so I just pulled in here and uh, they told me to go around. I have no idea where I'm going <laughs> or what I'm doing. Again, hey, first time we're here, so yeah, they, I had to go through some back entrance, and so I'm, I need to find out where my booth spot's at uh, and all that good stuff. He told me to just keep on following this thing, so I guess we'll see, uh, you know, where to go, I guess, essentially. Let's see. direction as far as uh, telling well then again this is par for the course for everywhere you go the only one that really you know 
gave you details and took you around and showed you everything was Scarborough. So Scarborough Renaissance Festival, you guys did a great job as far as, you know, showing, you know, new people around when you first get there. But, you know, I, I have no idea where I'm going right now. So I just hope I'm going towards the fairgrounds. Um, he just told me to keep following this and <laughs> I, mean, I need to be shown where my spots at and all that stuff so all right so finally got some organization here uh, this has been a weird start to this So I'm following this guy on the cart here in the back way. Of course, everybody's got to be in here right when I need to figure stuff out. All right. So I'm following the guy on the cart. I got hippies in the way. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, guys. All right. So this is the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair. A little bit behind the scenes driving so it's the first time I've been here and he's just kind of taking me to my spot here uh, let me put on a seat belt so that's so you guys don't get blasted with this the whole time It is definitely different. I mean, because they have to build as they go each year. There's no permanent structures. So it's definitely, well, what am I, by the porta potties? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Uh. <laughs> All right, so, uh, <laughs> fitting for Sir Blasphemy. I'm in front of all the porta potties. So, if it smells like shit, you'll know where to find me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that uh, this kind of works. Let me flip around here. This is a very small spot and I was pretty clear to them. I needed at least 20 by 20 to fit in here. And so I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. But uh, yeah, so there's my the seat. Of course, Sir Blasphemy is next to all the porta potties. They put them on my spot, so I I'm worried about the tent fitting here. Sorry, I'm having a giggle. It's just uh, it it's silly. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So CV Dragon Sweet Shop is set up. I'm right next to Azalea Tarig Silver Jewelry, booth number 409. Walk around. Hey, like I said before, I'm always next to the bathroom. Scarborough, right next door to the bathrooms. I mean, I guess that's kind of convenient, but hey, just follow the smell of shit and you'll find CB Dragon Sweet Shop. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, all of these porta potties will not be here. But yeah, uh, there you go. So that's it. So I've got it up. So let's take a brief look around here just for a second. I really don't know what section I'm in. There's no descriptions of fields. Or anything like that um, you can kind of see this way there's some ATMs around me I believe there's some water back behind there I mean thank goodness a shaded area that they did get me into because of the chocolate the nature of the chocolate but yeah kind of look around so you guys can maybe find me and know where to look for me There we go. The trees there. Yeah, just look for the restrooms. <laughs> Small, follow the smell of shit. That's all I can tell you. So you can kind of see here, if any of you guys are familiar with all these setups and where everybody goes, 
There you go. And over there is like the dam area. You can kind of see here. We've got some henna artists, stuff like that. So there you go. I'll just show you that much. And now I'm gonna drive through here and I'll give you a little bit of a drive around too. So I'll hang this back up and uh, we'll take a drive around. we go there we are guys let's drive around I got to get some paperwork all right guys uh, not really much to drive around through uh, there's a lot of people working and everything so <laughs> my gate to get out is actually just right here so I'm about to head out I'm gonna let this cart go by CB Dragon's all set up for the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair. Hopefully it'll hold up. While I am gone. Sorry. Just watching out for people there. But yeah, actually this is just the back way. So I'm not really driving through the fair. <laughs> this is the way I have to go out. So unfortunately I can't I can't do like what I normally do through the larger fairs. I can't really do the big drive around. Let's see. I gotta figure out how to get out of here safely. So this this is kind of where like a lot of the fairgoers they they camp out. Probably this is the stuff you don't get to see. A lot of prepping areas, it looks like people doing work. People that make a lot more money and have been doing this a lot longer than I have been. So they've, they've got a little bit extra to kind of have areas to, to work in. But um, yeah, this is just the back area where we pull in. It's definitely a smaller fair, but everybody seems to be pretty nice. It was a little unorganized in the morning, but that's okay. I understand there. You know, it's been a couple of years with all the COVID protocols and all that good stuff. So, we're just going to pull out this way. And this is it. It looks like this is where, I don't know if this is where, uh, fairgoers can park or if this is just exclusively for us to be honest with you I don't know so I hope I know where to park when I get here um, we'll find out like I said I didn't get really a lot of uh, answers and I understand that that they're busy so I don't want to you know disturb them too much but yeah this is it so it's time for me to kind of head back and and get back to Arizona and then in two weeks I will be out here and I hope you guys come visit me but we'll take the little drive on the way out here and uh, let you guys check it out It's definitely significantly smaller, um, you know, than than I expected. But that's okay. I'm guessing maybe some of, like it might be the size of like a Sherwood Forest Fair. But a lot of people come to this fair too. Just like Sherwood. Looks to be like uh you know like families and stuff this is kind of a uh kind of a little area over here where it looks like a lot of people just hanging out enjoying the day with their animals and things like that
thermostat says it's 51 degrees out. I don't think it's 51. I think it's more in the 60s. It's definitely warmer than that outside, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, people like that. There's, there's camping areas and stuff like that. Well, that's, that's pretty neat. This is a neat little area. California, so it ain't bad at all. Love me some California. So maybe on um, what I'll do is on um, fair mornings, I'll uh, do the quick walk around, be able to do that, so we'll see what happens. I'll be able to do that when it's fully set up. There was just a, it's a little bit different, so like TRF, you can really, while people are working, because it's so big, you can pull through, because everybody has to do it, so you're allowed to kind of drive through. I'm, I'm sure I'm allowed to drive through. It was just, it's a little bit smaller, more confined. And they set up each year that they do this because it's on state property. So there's a lot of, you know, there's not much room to move around. So there's a lot of people kind of, uh, you know, hanging out doing their thing. And so I don't really wanna, I didn't wanna like go kind of perusing through there with the Jeep and and uh, mess people up so I uh, just decided plus that it's you, you kind of have to take the, the exit near you to get out they kind of want you to do that just so you can swiftly move in and out and, and, and not disturb you know the grounds too much so I can I can respect that Yeah, so this is our little back way out. This is how we have to get out. I like this fair because it's under a day's drive to my home. And pretty much an easy drive, other than when you're in Los Angeles, lots of traffic, that's to be expected. But I drove in Dallas for 23 years, so it is nothing. It's just, just doing it. <laughs> That's the back way out here. I'll go ahead and stop the uh, video here for a second and uh, we'll move on to the next part here in the vid. So, hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Getting a little bit of a look behind the scenes. I always try to do that for you. I'm doing this, I know there's a lot of people that weigh options of this lifestyle. I will tell you this real quick before I stop the video of me record, uh, at least of me driving in this portion while I'm heading out. I'm, there's still more to this video. So please keep watching. But, um, you know, the camping here, you can only really stay on site Friday or Saturday. So if you come from out of state, you need to know somebody, Airbnb, um, you know, or, uh, you know, find somewhere, maybe an RV park or something like that, you know, to camp out at because you just cannot camp out on site. So... I'm pretty much going to camp in my trailer. I'm going to wave at this guy here real quick. I'm going to pretty much uh, just stay, in, and I didn't say, I said trailer, but I'm going to stay in my tent um, Friday night and Saturday night, which I'm allowed to do on the site. And then Sunday, I'm just going to have to go to a hotel after uh, fair's over for the weekend. So I'll just end up being in the hotel. It's a little bit of an expense, but it's not too bad. I'm running it myself, so I don't have to really worry about, you know, that money would go to paying somebody. So instead, I just go, you know, towards the hotel. So there you go. But anyway, guys, that's the back route. A little bit of information about it. And uh, stay tuned. More to come.
made it back home for the first round of going from Arizona to LA and back. I hope I got you guys some stuff that you can look at and check out and some new information or whatever. So again, just traveling there and setting up the tent and all that good stuff and getting going. So that was, that was the rundown. So you just watched it so you don't need me to tell you about it. So yeah, it was a good trip. It was, it's short and sweet just the way I like them. And uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll have more videos ready for you guys uh, from uh, activity at the uh, original Renaissance uh, Pleasure Fair in Los Angeles, California. So yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, just kind of getting there. They're they're pretty disorganized, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not. You know, I don't want to piss anybody off from RPF. I, I, I can understand they're kind of doing a little switch over. It's been a couple of years. They're 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 out of uh, you know their their normal sync, I guess, so to speak. So um, yeah, but other than that, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool little fair. Um, L.A. people, come by and see Sir Blasphemy, pretty please. Buy some chocolate from me. Buy some CBD infused chocolate, and uh, let's have some fun. I mean, it's available. Uh, Renaissance Pleasure Fair, excuse me, Renaissance Pleasure Fair is going to be open every weekend starting April 9th through May 22nd. So come on out and see me and the other uh, vendors that, th that are there too as well. So anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe. That really helps us out. Again, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, so come on with it. It's just touching a button. It really helped me out. And uh, please comment on any video you want to. I always try to get back to everybody and I always try to comment pretty fast. So, all right, thanks for watching. And until next time, be well, do well. Sir Blasphemy, out.